Hi guys, good to have you all back. If by chance you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret, I am from the Netherlands. That is why I have a funny accent and sometimes say the complete wrong word for something. I do apologize. What I do is paper crafting, junk journal projects and sometimes vintage treasure hunting. Now guys, I have a prototype on my desk today. Yay! I've been crafting all morning to figure out what I want to do. Um, there are a lot of supplies that I have in abundance. Beautiful vintage supplies and I need to start using them. So I have tried to create something using some um, of the supplies <laughs> that I have so much of. Let's see how this prototype turned out. I'm going to tell you what supplies we're using and I'm also I'm going to show you how I made this. So hopefully you can make some for yourself. It is a glassine bag, a decorated glassine bag that I made into an over the page sort of flip thingy with a journal card. <laughs> I don't know what you might call it. Uh, you know uh, by now because you've seen the title. I have used a glassine bag, decorated it, uh, decoupaged it with napkin. I have a gazillion napkins. Beautifully decorated it with a wonderful cigar bands that I found recently in a treasure hunt. I love them. Did some nice decorating with buttons. I have a gazillion buttons with this trim and, you know, bits and bobs. Um, and you can hang it on your page. So on the other side, I've made sort of a, a nice journal card. You can decorate this a little bit more. And then on the other side, there's a, a spot that you can write on. You can journal on. Yeah. So you can hang this over a page. I did um, weigh it down a little bit with some buttons and some ribbon. So it will stay nicely neat inside your journal and also it looks pretty right yeah so it's an over the page glassine pocket journal card thingy yep now let me show you um what i used to make this um you may not have all the supplies but you know there are always alternatives to create this one i've used the following supplies i have these small really cute um glassine bags they're really, really nice. If you don't have glassine bags, you can also use one of your coin envelopes that you've made. Yes, if you made some. If you haven't made some, why? They're fantastic. I will link the video uh, with the coin uh, envelope thingies below. It was the beginning of the week. They were fantastic. So a glassine bag. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to decoupage them with napkins. I have the gazillion. I just took a f out a few let me sort of quickly yeah i have yeah okay a lot <laughs> i have a lot um for the other side for the card side i want to i just used this piece of this is a sketch pad whatever i'm not ever gonna sketch in my whole life but i do like the paper it's a little bit heavier does the weight uh, is it a oh, 120 grams yeah so I've used this on the other side. I'm going to use uh, all sorts of scraps to decorate it. And I'm using these beautiful cigar bands. You don't need cigar bands if you have, you know, a fussy cut mushroom or whatever. Just a focal point. I have uh, a lot of these. I love them. Uh, spoiler alert. I'm going to share them with you guys. Yes, I'm going to share these. I have lots of these. I have lots of these. They will be available in the shop tomorrow late but i will do a video tomorrow explaining how it all works and and such uh, for those of you who don't know i have an instagram shop sevenplaza.curiosa on instagram it's also linked below i am going to use this trim this is beautiful trim that i got from a friend of mine on instagram she also has an instagram shop it's not open yet because she's on a sort of a world trip she'll open it later this month this is actually i think for furniture it's beautiful it has this sort of backing that's self adhesive it's old so it doesn't stick anymore so i really need to use some glue just some trim buttons using buttons you don't need this trim and buttons what you need is a glassine bag uh, and um, what you call these napkins. I'm sorry, <laughs> couldn't come up with the name and the napkins. And if you don't have glassine bags, use a coin envelope or make one. Now, these are all the nice decorat uh, decorative supplies. Um, I am using glue. I'm using art glitter glue and I am making sort of my own Mod Podge. Mod Podge is sort of a glue that you use for decoupaging. I am just going to use tanky glue, very cheap, and water. 
yes, I'm going to dilute tacky glue and make my own Mod Podge. For the gluing down of the buttons, I'm going to use my pal Drippy here. This is a glue gun. Also, what I am going to use, uh, because I need this to be sort of quick, is my heat gun. Yes, I have a heat gun. I have a glue gun, a heat gun, I, you know, all sorts. Um, but you can also just let it dry. I'm going to use it off camera, guys, because that makes a lot of noise. You know, the usual scissors, a ruler, what have you, uh, for decorating. Bits and bobs. Really, you're going to use bits and bobs? I'm going to use my bits and bobs. So, if you have all of these, take everything out. If you have alternatives, do that. If not, enjoy the video anyway. Let's start decoupaging the envelopes. The, what's it called? Glassine bags. Glassine bags. In order to determine what sort of um, background I want with the napkins i'm just taking out my focal points these are composers yes yeah uh, i heard of this one never heard of this one but they're beautiful they're beautiful um composers uh he's from paris he was born in 1799 and died uh in nice in 1862 well that was old for them and this one was born in paris in 1883 and died uh well somewhere in france in 1875 yeah Bizet, I know him. I know. Him. Well, not personally, of course. They all have glasses. So these are composers. Um, but I was thinking with this one, um, there's a lot of gold in here. And there's gold in this napkin and roses. So red and green. So I think this will go lovely. So I'm going to pair these together. And then I have this one with like a sagey green. I was thinking this one, but I think it will be like the exact same color. We could do this with a pink or this shall we do this it's sort of a crafty brownie color mm. yeah i'm gonna do this one so i'm gonna do these two i'm only gonna do two guys i did 10 of something yesterday i'm still tired <laughs> honestly so the glassine bags now what we need is to make the glue um to decoupage it on this on if you have never decoupaged it's fun. You can do it in a couple of different ways. I used to do it just with glue stick. Now I'm doing it with the sort of Mod Podge. If you don't know what Mod Podge is, it's an expensive glue. That is basically... I already made some, but I'm going to make some more. That is basically, in my opinion, cheap sort of white glue. You could use cool glue or... Is it called Elmer's? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not from, from your country. Just, you know white glue very cheap one this came from action they need water i always have some water at hand there you go and a brush to sort of swirl it around and make it very thin just a very thin sort of gooey gluey <laughs> oh i really don't like working with this but hey it's for you guys a little more water and there you go now it's very sort of runny glue yeah but you could use mod podge honestly if i use i do have that if i use mod podge i always put water in it because i think mod podge is still a little bit too sort of heavy so this is the glue now if you have not ever decoupaged welcome this is like a whole new world for you it's wonderful if you start doing this you're gonna collect napkins everywhere yeah I've been collecting them for a while. Napkins, they consist of two or three layers. Sometimes four. Honestly, I have not ever seen one of four. Most of them are three layers. Now, if you want to peel them off by hand, it will take like forever. For me, the best way is... I'm going to see if this... <laughs> it's so dusty and never use this anymore. Um, sort of tape. Just scotch tape or, you know, sticky, sticky tape. Just a small piece. There you go. I'm going to flip the napkin over. Yeah? To the back side. Put the tape on a spot. I usually don't do it on the end. Just more sort of in the middle. Sort of glue it down and then rip, take it off. See, you're going to take off one layer. Now, most of these have three layers some of them have two layers how will you know if it has two layers well i'm just gonna try i think it has another layer on here so i'm gonna put it down again on a spot 
Gently peel it. Yes, see, there's another layer coming. Yeah. I am not throwing away the layers that I took off because I can use that to wipe and dry my hands and all the sticky stuff that we're gonna be using. Yes, this is this is called mixed media, right? Let's call this mixed media that I really don't enjoy because of stickiness. See, it's very, very see-through now. So we are going to use this. And you can glue this on any surface you wish. On any sort of paper, glassine bags. You can put it on a vase and a mug, a piece of wood. I've seen that people do it on roof tiles. I don't know. You need another glue for that, of course. But I'm going to put it on this glassine bag. I want a lot of gold on here. I am not going to put it over the flap. I want to position it like so in the corner. With a lot of this gold over here and then what were we thinking oh yes mr bizet george george bizet it's, it's a frenchman doesn't that look lovely yeah well we need to cut a piece out you can do that in a couple of different ways you can do it all fancy with a wet sort of pen to wet it and then you can rip it and i'm not gonna do that no 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 I am just going to cut this. It is a little bit hard to sort of cut because it's very thin and it moves all about. And it does the hokey pokey. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Yeah, way too big of a piece, but that's okay. I'm going to cut off a little bit more, just a tiny bit. It doesn't need to be exact, guys, because... Um, once we have sort of glued it on, you can remove the, the edges. No worries. Right, so. Okay. Now, for the gluing itself, it's going to be messy. It's going to be messy, so I have taken some precautions. Let me show you. Because this is going to be messy, and I do not like messy, and I want to keep my desk sort of clean, I have seen some people use like baking paper with a non-stick sort of side, this uh, underneath, but it moves all about. So what I did, I just, this is a magnetic sort of board that I use for stenciling. I just wrapped it all around and then... Yeah, I have a new sort of mat now. Yes, so I'm going to use that because I do not want the rest of my um, cutting mat to be messy. So this is the glue that we made. It's nice and runny. Notice my beautiful brush. It is pink. <laughs> it's just so cute. If you want to keep your brushes like sort of intact, once you're done, rinse them out quickly. Otherwise, um, well, it will be hard. This will be hard. So I'm just going to put glue all over my glassine bag. And the reason why I have something underneath, because you really need to do the edges. That is very important. If you have a very big surface and doing um, decoupage, don't do the whole surface at once. But this, I believe, is sort of small enough to do all at once. So, and now for the sticky gooey part, position it on there very carefully because this is very, very thin. So you cannot sort of rub it or do anything of the sort. So very carefully, be sure you don't have any air bubbles. Mine are going to have air bubbles. Why? Because I'm rubbish at this. But that's okay. And I also really like the effect, effect of bubbles. Otherwise, put a piece of paper on. I just like it to be sort of bubbly and wrinkly. Now, for the best result, so I've been told, you put another layer on. On top of it? Yes, on top of it. So I'm putting another layer on here. Because the glassine pack back is of a certain uh, sort of structure, it will be wrinkly and bubbly, whatever you do. But I really like it. It also gives a nice sort of, it sounds nice. It gives structure to your, to your journal. See, so I put everything all over here. Be sure to do the edges really, really well. Otherwise it will, it will peel up. Yeah. Now you need to let it dry. You need to let it dry for a long time. That is why I have a heat gun. 
I bought a heat gun especially for these sort of projects. And embossing, which I hardly ever do. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to... Hey! Stop it! See? They are attacking me. I'm going to dry it, yeah? And I'll be back when it's dry. I believe it's dry now. It's a little bit too long. That's why they invented scissors. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, snip it off. Daisy agrees. She's annoyed. She was sleeping. I put on the heat gun. She was like, what are you doing? I'm sleeping. <laughs> so she's a little bit annoyed now. Are you okay, lovey? <laughs> yeah, meow. So if you hear some sort of weird sounds in the back, I have two cats and uh, they love their mama. So they're always around. So they're snoring or purring or having a conversation with me. See, there you go. So very lovely. Yes. Um, let's decorate it. Yeah, we were doing Mr. George something. Where's George? Have you seen George? I don't know. It's somewhere. And we need to also, oh, George is here. Also attach um, the other side. It's a little bit wet here still. I do already love it. I already love it. Like so. So I'm going to put George on. Also because this is a musician, a composer, I was thinking to add a little bit of music paper as well. I think that'll be sort of a nice touch. Some music paper. And, you know, a label. Or something like this. Yes. So let me get my bits and bobs and then uh, we'll do some decorating. Of course, I'm taking out some labels and I want to use this trim. I thought I had green, but I have brown, blue and red. So it's going to be red. So I'm going to use this trim. Some buttons. Yes, I really want to do that trick. Uh, some Tracy labels, of course. She has these labels. Oh, Tracy said hello on Instagram. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> um, she has these labels. These are sort of fill in labels. So that you can stamp on something. I really like them. Special day. Or special day. But yeah. Something. Something greenish. Yeah. I think so. I think so. But first I'm going to put the music paper on. I think I want to have it sort of more ripped yeah inking it i think i'm also gonna ink all around the, env uh, the envelope the glassine back oh that's dark i have taken out walnut stain Now, I have found out with the uh, prototype, glue stick, decoupage napkin, not friends at all. No, doesn't want stick. So that is why I'm using uh, art glitter glue. When in doubt, art glues everything. If art doesn't glue it, then you take out your friend Drippy. Yes. I do not want to put Mr. George in the middle. I'm going to put him a little bit off center. Like so. Have the special day behind. But I don't really like these lines and then the straight edge. So I'm going to do some snippies. I don't know. This is just... It looks better. Well, to me it does. There you go. Special day. Okay. Mm 
And there you go. We're going to put George on. Yeah, I want to move it a little bit because I really want Victor Hugo to be on there. I know, love. It's horrible. Yeah. I think I want to flip the ends over. It just looks nicer on the edges if you flip it over to the other side. And also there's less, less chance of it uh, curling up. So I'm going to do it like so. Ooh. Lovely, right? Yeah. Well, there's, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother with it. And I have this sort of piece that says 10.30.06. Let's say it's 90.06. Was he still alive then? No. See? Shall we do a piece of this? Yeah. Oh, the color is lovely, isn't it? Yes. Let me get my uh, fabric scissors. I think they will cut this very nicely. First, I'm going to straighten this out. Lucky for me, there are lines on here. Yep. I'm sort of measuring it. Cut it at this line, lovely. Okay, well, I can do that. Sort of, hopefully. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks fantastic. I really like it. Um, yeah, this is sort of trim for furniture or something. It does have the sticky back. It is a little bit sticky still. I think this is really vintage. It's really old. Um, but, you know, I'm going to put art glitter on it. Or art glitter glue on it anyway. Because I really want this to stay down. And not to peel up. Just a couple of dots. When it's on, it's on, guys, because uh, it's art and and tape. So, yeah, be sure to have it on the spot where you want it. It's lovely. Uh, want to do the button trick? I think so. For the other one, I used brown ones. Now I have uh, every color of the rainbow, I guess. So I also took out some of the red, the darker red ones. And some green. And of course, a whole bunch of brown. Let's see with the green ones. Oh, that is a little bit too green, love. Again, too green. It's some, some sort of... Oh, and it has... Oh, it's a flower. And it has uh, sort of... Uh, what's some call it? Thread in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to have this one. And a small red one. You don't even see it because it's the exact same color red. Maybe a brown one. Or maybe just a green one. Yes, maybe just a green one. I don't know. I just like this one. I'm going to do only this one. Or two green ones. No, just the one. I'm using um, my glue gun for this. You could maybe use art glitter glue for this. But I'm not taking any chances. A lot of questions about my glue gun. I love it. Uh, it is sort of, you can charge it with a USB cable. It is from Parkside. I bought it at Lidl. Yeah. Love it a lot. See, it's green. Green means go. So I'm going to put some. No, I did not say go to you, love. No, you can stay. Turn it off. There you go. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. I am, however, going to um, ink all the edges. And then we're going to do the other side. 
I cut a piece of the paper to size. It doesn't need to be sort of as exact, but you know, sort of to size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the flap on here, on the outside. I'm using art for this. Now, of course, I'm going to fill the, the glassine bag with stuff, you know, bits and bobs, probably the beautiful cigar band. There you go. Right now. Now, what I want to do on this one is um, first sort of collage it with scraps, book pages and such. And I think I want to do another piece of decoupage on there, but not the whole thing, just a, a smaller piece. One of the roses, something like this. I am going to show you how to do this with, um, this is called an aqua brush. Yeah, that you can do all fancy pansy stuff with. Let's use this. Uh, and also I'm going to do it with glue stick because you don't need to have this mushy whatever you can do it with glue stick if you if you're going to be careful so but first let's do some collaging i have my um map with scrap papers lots of music some old book pages train scheduling paper what have you Ooh, there's no blue in here oh uh yes i am i have new stamps some of you um, in my shop, oh, that's lovely, uh, bought the stamp set, but the stamp set, it's gone. I don't have these stamp sets anymore, but I have different ones. I found different ones. So there will be new office self-inking stamps in the shop. Yay! So don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it like so. I'm going to have a strip of this. Some music paper, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm going to do the other side with music paper. Do I have a ruler? I think I'm just going to have two strips. And one here. And then one there. Yeah? Yes. Starting with the music. Am I at all in frame? Let's sort. I need. I need room. Move. I need room. Yeah. There we go. It is way too long. I'm gonna take a piece off. I'm going to ink it once this is on. But this I am going to ink because when it's on, it's on. It's on. You know. I can use normal glue stick for this because uh, it's paper on paper. And there will be no problem with that. Maybe a little bit uh, on top where the glassine is. Just going to do this, just in case. Da -da -da. To make sure it's stuck on there. Music. And now... This is very old, I believe. Either dictionary or well, it looks more like encyclopedia. Again, way too long. Glue sticking it again. No, this is definitely encyclopedia because it also has some images in there. I only have a couple of pages of this. Probably um, got it in Happy Mail or something. I don't own the book. So I also cannot tell you on what book it is. Because unfortunately I don't have that. We want around the corners. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Or... Or maybe we can put another one of those strips here. Don't know. Great. Oh, I have some piano paper here. Oh, that is cool because, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it on there. I think I know. Where did it come from? 
don't know. I'm gonna use art for this because there's so many holes in here. <laughs> the glue will go everywhere. Just a, I didn't ink it. Ooh, boo, me, I didn't ink it. That's okay. Yeah, piano paper for a composer who probably used sort of piano. Did they have piano in 18 something something? Well, something that looked like it. Okay, now for the decoupaging. Um, yes, I'm having a problem with my aqua brush. <laughs> Let me show you how I want to do this. I took out my mixed media mat again. That's a new one. <laughs> uh, yes, the aqua brush. Uh, you're supposed to open it up, put water in it, and then squeeze it, and then sort of the brush part will be wet, so you can use it. For the life of me, I cannot open it. I've been like, you know, it doesn't work. But that's okay, uh, because you can also do it like so. Like what? Like so. <laughs> wet. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to do it like this. What you do with this, you just sort of draw all around the image that you want to cut out. I want to cut out this image. So you are basically wetting the napkin. And then it's supposed to... Ooh, don't do that. You can rip it easily that's sort of the idea behind this don't know if it will work though oh. it's supposed to work so let's let's see now you can sort of easily rip it and i'm i am ripping everything yeah so take out your scissors and just cut all around it <laughs> i've put too much water on the on the brush probably that is why it is acting that way but that's okay because it really does not need to be perfect but that is sort of how it works how the professionals do it which is not me not in this case there you go please let go of my fingers see now we have beautiful rose I want to have the rose on here, like so, in the middle. Now, we could mud podge the whole thing. I am going to use glue stick. Do not use the glue stick on the napkin. No, don't do that. I'm just using glue stick on the paper. I'm going to be very sort of generous with the glue. And I'm doing it in sort of parts. I'm going to do the first part first. There you go. Gently sort of pressing it. Yeah. Lots of glue everywhere. And then doing the next part. Sort of trying to figure out where the napkin will fall. Glue stick dries clear, so if there's uh, too much glue on there, don't worry, it'll be fine. Very gently. Is there enough glue underneath here? See? Works just as well. Yes. I need to let it dry because there's glue uh, all around here. Yeah. The reason why I did not do that on the glassine because, you know, glassine, glue stick, not friends. I think it's lovely. It needs a label. I'm going to let it dry and then put on a label. We can put on a label. Or also another small cigar band because, you know, did I tell you I have a gazillion? It's an Indian on a horse. 
Do we have anything else? Oh, some more sort of composers. <laughs> is this a compo? No, that's not a composer because this is a precedent. So it's probably also a precedent. These are the precedents. Oh, that's like a boat. Oh yes, I'm gonna do this one. I'm just gonna do this one. I am, however, going to ink it. This is Statue of Liberty. Uh, so this is probably about... Yeah, I do not know the history of America. Not really, a little bit. Yep, gonna have it there. Are we gonna use glue stick? We are gonna use glue stick. How you like my mixed media mat? I think it's brilliant, yeah. Was a genius idea. <laughs> I was thinking, why is this wobbly? Because there's a button on the other side, love. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Small label? Small label? Does need small label still? We have a gazillion, so oh, why not? Something greenish, reddish? Greenish, reddish? Approval? No. 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 Daisy agrees. No. Yeah, I'm gonna do the oval one. That says number, oh no, date 1931. Well, this is way older. But it's okay. There you go. So cute, right? I think we have enough time to do another one. So I want to use Mr. Halevi. I don't know. Yeah, tell me. Uh, it's from Paris. Uh, and this napkin, right? Yep. I'm doing the trick with the tape again. When I did this in the beginning, I was like, no, I'm going to rip the napkin. No, well, I never did, actually. It's going to be two layers, hopefully this. Hello, two layers, please. <laughs> there is another layer in here. I know for sure. This tape does not want to stick anymore. If this isn't uh, two layers, then it is too thick for me. And I really want to use... Oh no, it's two layers. Is it? No, that's too dark. No, that is too dark. It is actually two layers. Hmm. Well, too bad. Not for this project. Let's find another napkin. Well, we were thinking about this one, right? Yes. Let's do this one. This is three layers. I, I can already see the layers. Look at that. Don't even need any tape. Hello. Yeah. Done. Or, you know, you can do this. Oh, it's a lovely one, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm using scissors. I'm going to cut here and here. Big scissors, please. Yep. Way too big, but that's okay, guys. We can trim off the excess, no worries. Do we have enough glue? Do you think? Do you think we have enough glue? Sure, sure we do. It's like dyeing your hair. Do we have do I have enough to dye my hair? Did you ever dye your hair? <laughs> I used to dye my hair all the time when I was young. Yeah. Also once in another color, but hairdressers are expensive so that's why i did it at home yes and then i decided i want my hair to be black yes your towels don't like that neither does your bedroom floor or whatever so then i decided here you go hairdresser you can do my hair so i'm not dyeing my own hair anymore well that worked Another layer on top. Uh-oh. 
Daisy just fell asleep. You can hear her snoring. And now I have to put on the heat gun again. Oh, she's not going to like me today. She's going to be upset. <laughs> oh, I have a boy and a girl. Daisy is the girl. Uh, hence the name Daisy and not Jackson. And she is like a girl. She stays upset the whole day. She's like, I know what you did. You're annoying. And Jackson be like, what? What's going on? And then he turns his head and he's like, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> he forgets stuff all the time. <laughs> Great. Guys, I'm going to let this dry. Oh, I love this napkin. I'm so sorry. I only have the one. I'm going to get my heat gun and then dry it all and then also trim it. And then we're going to do some more decorating. It's dry. I trimmed it. I inked it. Yes. And this gentleman is going to be on here. I am going to have some music paper, I guess, behind. I don't know. Do I have another piece that is sort of... Thinking maybe... But a bigger piece. Doing sort of an oval. No. No, 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 no. Don't do anything too fancy smancy, honey. Gonna have him like so. Like so? Yeah. Instead of the trim, I was thinking, I don't know for sure if I like it. I am going to have this label on. Already sort of decided because I really like the color. Um, I have these. Yes, I found these in a thrift shop. They were 25 cents. They were, these are newish um, from Xenos, which is a sort of shop in the Netherlands. So they're not old, but I can bet you they weren't 25 cents at Xenos. And I was thinking, let's have some flowers on here. <laughs> I never do this. It has this sort of... I'm not, probably not going to use this. But does this sort of look nice? Actually, I like it. Is that weird? I like it. It gives me Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Dab vibes. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Why not? piece of music underneath yeah why not it's already cutesy with the roses and all yeah a little bit more ink here um this is uh decoupaged so we are going to use art does art want to come out and play If you have not used art glitter glue, uh, I can highly recommend it. But do not wait a long time now to order it if you need to order it or buy it in the shop. Because this is the problem. In the winter times, when it's freezing, when it's cold, they don't ship art glitter glue. Because the, probably the glue freezes and it doesn't you know, work anymore. Or which way is up? This way. So, if you're thinking about investing in art glitter glue, do it now. Yeah. Before it gets really cold. I'm good. I have invested in a lot of art glitter glue, I can tell you. Yeah, I bought a lot. Yeah, because I really like it. So, I have another one of these. This size, because I really like... This size and then I have a bigger bottle uh, to refill not the biggest one but the medium one the medium one and for sure next year I'm gonna buy the the biggest one because it is fantastic now I must say I have not tried all the glues that are out there there's sort of barely something something bare glue barely glue or bare glue don't know I have not tried that one gonna do it like so yes uh i actually don't need art for this just on the bottom a little bit because it's going to be glued down on um on paper i'm 
Right, there we go. Over here. Lovely. And then I'm going to use art for this, of course. No, not art. I'm going to use a uh, drippy. Does it still want to work? Yes, I am, however, going to peel these off. These probably won't glue anymore. They won't stick. So cute. Just going to do it. Go green. There you go, love. Quickly turn it off before it starts dripping. I need to learn how to make these. When I was younger, I could make these. I crochet all the time. I wouldn't even know where to start now. It is fantastic. Yes, I think we even have time to do the back. I already cut a piece of paper to size. We need to glue it on with art. I'm using so many glues today. I'm using glue stick, art glitter glue, my own made mud podge and um, my glue gum. Yeah, the only glue I haven't tried today is, uh, well, I have still have some Beacon 3-in-1 left. Um, the glue itself is fantastic. I have nothing against the consistency of the glue. I do, however, have something against how it comes out of the bottle. It's like an eruption every time. Yeah, probably doing something wrong. Uh, I just I just don't enjoy it. So I enjoy this. Right. What I did, guys, see, I cut out small pieces of the napkin to, you know, take a parge with. It sort of acts like uh, washi stickers. It's a little bit see-through. Now, what I want to do is make another quick collage. I did some preparing. I have another piece of paper here. Where are my other pieces? No, I had some pieces here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, what I did, I took a picture of Daisy. <laughs> She's so annoyed. Um, I'm going to insert it. Uh, well, here. I'm going to insert it here. Say hi to Daisy. Hopefully that worked. I don't know. I don't, really don't know how that sort of works. I think I know how to do it, but you know, sometimes I's not that smart. I really should take some time to learn how to edit and stuff uh, because I did not master the editing part. I just glue pieces of video together. That's how I edit. Gonna have this here, this here, and then this underneath here. Yeah? Okay. Do you want... Um, yes. You know what I'm trying to say, yeah? We want some inking. Yeah, that's what we want. And this part. And... Uh, well going to be out on the outside yeah right so we're going to start with this one okay okay new glue stick this one was gone i need to get some more hopefully i can find some because i bought the ooh sticks at Lidl. It's a sort of a supermarket slash, I don't know, some department store. It's cheap. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Dutch. I like cheap. And then they had a whole bunch. Um, bigger tubes and smaller tubes. And um, I didn't know how they would work. So I bought one set. One set of the big one and the smaller one. And then I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I hurried back and I bought all the glue they had left. <laughs> Ooh glue. So if you're like, I have not seen any Uhu glue uh, at Lidl. It's because I was there first <laughs> and took it all. Yeah, most of the times um, that's like an article that's only there once. A 
the product and then um, sometimes it comes back most of the times it doesn't I need to straighten this that's not straight that is really crooked loft i know i know i know i know yeah hopefully there are other places where i can buy it in the netherlands i do not want to order ooh stick online And to be honest, there are other uh, glue sticks that I really enjoy, so I really don't need to have the Uhu stick. But just, you know, it's nice. Has any one of, of you tried the Giotto that um, Rachel from uh, Roxy Creations always uses? Giotto? What Giotto? See, my Italian is so good. I'm very curious. <laughs> Gail usually uses Uwu as well, but then she has the blue um, glue stick. Yeah, so that you can really see where you have glued and where you have not glued. Fantastic, have this flipped up. Okay, now for the roses. Let's do some roses here and there. Yeah, they're so cute, right? Yeah, it's really cute. Is this double? Yeah. I'm just gonna have these on. Because the background of the napkin isn't white, it doesn't really blend in. That's a shame. But also, it adds a little something. I have no clue where I'm gluing. I'm just putting glue everywhere. It'll be fine. And then some glue here. See, glue stick works just as well. You don't need to make the whole mud podge stuff. No. Do you know what? I think I want to do some stamping. Shall we do some stamping? Yeah, let me get some stamps. For stamping, um, I'm doing fire brick. Tell me guys, have you tried lumberjack? plate already the new color by um you know tomorrow's i haven't tried it and there is no surprise i'm gonna use this but i'm also gonna use this one uh let me show you this way these are the st stamps that sort of mimic round stitching yeah it's from aliexpress i cannot give you a link guys i've had this in my stash for ever it took me a very long to get this piece off it's really really stuck on there because I believe I already have it for a year. I've never used it. So um, first I'm going to do some dots here and there. Oh, the sticker doesn't want to stick. I need to put some art on this. Daisy snoring. Are you okay, love? <laughs> Just going to have some random dots here and there. You know. This color is fantastic for this project because it's the exact same color as the roses. There you go. So there. Are we going to do this in black? I think so. I think so. I'm going to do black. Um, archival. Jet black. It's a new stamp. So I am going to try it out on a random piece of paper first, I guess. Well, it's an old stamp, but it's never been used. Oh, it's okay. It's actually okay. There you go. Well, I'm going to have one over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit smudgy. I was thinking, why is it smudgy? Probably because there's still some glue on there. I should have let it dry more, but, uh, you know. I didn't. Oh, this one's better. I do like it. It's like Christmas bubbles. 
this one and the last oh <laughs> did you see what i do oh uh, yeah okay well sometimes i put it upside down on there and this one fantastic i love it if i do say so myself i really like it do you like it it's like some sort of a wallpaper i don't know reminds me of old wallpaper fantastic um let's go check out the end result here they are hope you like them i love them this is the prototype which is actually really good yes i need to ink all around it that's the only thing i forgot to do with this one this is uh, rimsky korsakov doesn't he make like marches and such i don't know i uh, love it with the buttons and then you know I, what i did was put the cigar bands um in here i'm going to make sets of these beautiful be cigar bands and sell them on instagram tomorrow yeah i'll talk about that um later for a little bit beautiful collage this is again with a napkin yeah and you can um journal on it then uh, george bizet don't know what music he made but probably gonna be stuffy I don't know. Love it with the roses and all the green. And then on the other side, because the napkin was more like a lighter color background, you really don't see it anymore. It sort of blends in. Really like it. And then I have no clue who this gentleman is. Halevi? Don't know. Halevi! Look at the roses. It's so not me. <laughs> I never do this. But it's cute though. And it's, you know, it lent itself perfectly for this project. And then this one on the back. I love this one. Yes. I really like how this turned out. So I love them. Guys, I hope you liked the video. And maybe you could craft along. I uh, I hope so. Um, tomorrow I'll be back with another video. The video will be a crafty video, but a shorter part of a graph crafty video. And then I will tell a little bit about the shop update. If by chance you're like shop and what you're talking about, I don't know how that works. I know I made a video. I am linking this video below in the description box. Yes, it's below everything. This video will explain how shopping on Instagram works. Please go watch it if you're not certain on how this works. Yes, it is a Happy Meal a haul video from a friend of mine. And at the end, I will tell you how it works. Yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. See you then. Bye, guys.